All right, all right, all right. So after trading OG and Anobi to the Knicks, losing Fred Van Vliet in offseason to the big bag of hell from the Ra from the Rockets, Pascal Siakam has officially been traded from the Toronto Raptors. After eight years there, a most improved player and an NBA champion in 2019, he will be moving on to Indiana for three first round picks, Jordan Nawara and Bruce Brown. Now these videos like to try and piss me off sometimes when the teams win nothing when I'm just simulating. So I'm going to be rebuilding the, the Pacers in this. Maybe lightly. I might not even do a damn thing this first year. But after that, I don't want to just be sitting here here for the next 15 years watching them lose so I'll, I'll probably take light action that's gonna age poorly isn't it and then for the raptors we're just gonna be watching them simulate and crazily enough i'm gonna do the opposite thing in the next i'm, I'm gonna probably do a raptors rebuild and and let the pacers simulate in, a, in another video which will be way more intensive because they need they have work to be done injuries are on and tyrese is still semi-injured as of right now we're 23 and 17 which the east has been known for the past few weeks to have like the four through nine seeds all damn near tied but all these games are important nonetheless i also want to say rest in peace to the Warriors assistant coach Dejan Milojevic who died of a heart attack yesterday he was with the Warriors the last few seasons won the championship with them and even played himself for 14 years overseas sad as hell also a crazy contrast to, I woke up dumb late seeing those few things on the timeline all right Tyrese is back thankfully I don't know if we want okay we, we beat the Kings speaking the Kings man I saw a report just now that they're looking to trade for a better defensive player they're like not the best at defense this season and every game I watch from them they just blew a 22 point lead to the suns yesterday they they're they've been very interesting oh and also just to say for the paces this season i absolutely love this deal and in the short sight we'll see how it works out you know he's gonna re-sign with a team they, they didn't throw through three first round picks away for him to not be confident in re-signing usually teams know that type of stuff the pacers have a top offense in the league and a terrible defense pascal has been a historically a good defensive player but also too i feel like the pacers don't have a lot of three level score threats I Obviously, Tyrese has developed into that, even if he looks a little wonky while doing it. But even if you look at the guy that has traded someone like a Bruce Brown, aside from that, you got Buddy Heels. Matherin's a dude that's a hooper that's going to get you a bucket in multiple different ways. But aside from that, they don't have many guys like that. Actual go-to scorer that can, you know, even specifies in the mid-range to inside to bully ball area. I feel like they needed someone like that. Because even Miles is known to not be a bully ball type player. He's a weak bastard who can't grab seven rebounds. With all due respect, I say bastard with love. Before we go any further, I want to thank you to Price Picks for sponsoring this video. Price picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states. You can use the code click. You can get it through 100 cent back and hundred dollars your first deposit. That's be 19 or older to play. Age restrictions vary from state to state, and please play responsibly. Also, with prize picks is demons and goblins feature, you can win up to 100 times your money. For my first pick, Jaden Ivey. Three and a half turnovers. I'm gonna say he gets more because they're playing the best defense in the league in Minnesota. Simone Fontecchio. I've liked this dude's game a lot this season. Whenever I caught jazz games, I'm gonna say he hits more than a three and a half. I'm gonna say Jalen Suggs gets more against Atlanta. Atlanta not the best team this season and he's had some off games so he'll get back to this 2016 range and herb jones against charlotte eight and a half points i'll say more than that as well lastly i'm gonna say terry rosier makes more than two and a half threes he does it pretty consistently you can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks using the new demons feature in this one i'd be winning 10 times my money you get a prize pick response in the video i'm gonna use code click and click the link in the description get up to 100 back and up to 100 dollars your first deposit now to get back into the video so it's a trade deadline day and based off the estimated win stuff you could see is the most viable the one person i am considering trading is buddy healed i don't know if he's is he expiring this season yeah he is expiring this season we're not gonna have too much money because tyrese's contract his huge contract is gonna kick in yeah actually it'd be pretty smart to do that obviously we can re-sign him but it's because they've actually had a bunch of there's been a bunch of rumors about him getting traded so it makes me want to trade him he even requested a trade before the season started and everyone forgot about it everybody i was bringing it up to some of my friends they're like buddy healed requested a trade i'm like yeah yeah he did uh, i thought this was joe john for a second we do have james johnson at the bottom here we can get draymond that'll save the franchise does this say benedict matherin is a small forward slash small forward is that the first time i've ever seen that just like casual yo if i click this off it's never yep that's it eternal it's over i'm actually gonna leave it screw it it looks funny yep i'm trading buddy heel to the bulls with the first round pick for alex caruso and javon carter caruso is you know he's not a running gun shooter but he's the perfect player to complement this team another perimeter defender will actually one of the only primitive defenders to help out the defense oh this is also stupid too this man tyrese is averaging what he was averaging 24 plus this season his shot tendency is at a 70 i'm not saying he's a shooter but he's shooting shoot he, he, need, he needs to be able to shoot put at an 87 now this this is a lineup right here i think knee smith usually starts a lot in real life but also there is injuries on so i'm gonna make it a 10-man rotation for now let uh let jalen smith play a little bit it's a good amount of big men but it's all right it's actually mostly big men just gave tj mcconnell a three-year 
extension to be a pacer for life or something like that. I don't know. Maybe he's the guy that I treat as the guy I can't trade, which I'll probably end up trading in a season. I got the green T on deck. Shout out to T. And Pascal Siakam out four to six weeks. Not gonna lie, if he was out for the season, I would actually revolt, but he'll be back before the end of the season. So we'll be okay. Maybe. I don't know. We're 29 and 30. That looks like the eighth seed. We're gonna have to fight in the play-in game. Are we mid? We lost again. This is definitely interesting. I mean, I guess anything's possible. Now our backup Isaiah Jackson just got hurt for a week to two. He'll probably be back. Before. Oh, Pascal's back. There you go. Now Miles Turner's hurt. Do I, do I lower the tendency? Ah, whatever. Screw it. Things happen. Damn, another news. The Josh Giddy case was closed with no charges. No comment. That has nothing to do with me. I'm just spreading information. True information that Twitter told me, so it could be fake. But it's it's real. It's real. It's via TMZ. You know, they're, they're the Illuminati. Um, Luca, most valuable. Victor got a few awards including dpoi jalen johnson i rock with this dude is a, a super hooper wow that's a cool saying Jokic, tyrese made the all nba second team obviously pascal wouldn't be on here oh defensive second team alex caruso good addition and i believe we made the play in game okay seven c that's good we're playing orlando that's a tough team i don't know about in 2k but they're a tough team in real life ironically orlando is just the opposite they're one of the best defensive teams and mediocre offensive team minus their top guys whereas Indiana is the direct opposite. I don't know about in 2K, but in real life, at least, we are going to win. Hold on to that seven seed. Turner had 22. Tyrese is injured now. Hyperextended. He'll be all right. Just, yeah, he'll, he'll be good. Okay, we're playing Philly in the first round. Tyrese, dog, just just get over it, man. What is this? He's he's all right still. He's a 91 still. We'll be good. I think I am going to shorten the... Oh, Jalen Smith's actually playing well, though. I'm going 39 minutes for Pascal and Tyrese. And then Miles is getting a lot as well to guard Embiid. We're locked in. Game one in philly oh boy i mean the thing with philly is they actually did move up a seed i guess milwaukee must have moved down but you wouldn't expect them to be that good post all the trades and everything but they still are i mean it's still Embiid. Embiid had a oh, shout out to Embiid. hey i'm someone historically too i could say yes i'm on the side of Jokic in terms of who's better but i still love both of them Embiid, Embiid is such a dominant scorer and he showed that dominance they had they had one yesterday against against the nuggets and he definitely outplayed at least from i do have to go back and watch but you know it's pretty evident he dropped like 40 we also won the next game maxi had 55 but our tyrese had 46 and 19 i will say shout out to tyrese okay so i know that i posted that video on my second channel where i said that um i had joined his 2k league and i'm not gonna lie i didn't post it i didn't post really anything from that league but and I, I only lost like four games in that league. I was like 20 and four before it died inevitably. And Paul George never played more than one game because, you know, the season started, but he was hooping yesterday. And, you know, the activity level of it just uh, plummeted. But I won't lie. When I played, Tyrese beat me. Tyrese fair and square. Now, I didn't have a good team. I overperformed, but he did beat me, though. He did beat me. I will give him that. So I dropped 40 on him in rec. I got that over him. But he also, I believe, dropped 40. But I won the series, so who cared? And I was playing with some absolute scrubs during that 24 and 10. Tyrese and then we lose to 20, 33 from Tyrese Maxi. A bit confusing when you're playing the person with the same name. Hey, it's a back and forth series right now though. 38 and 7 from Siakam and we win this one. We needed that and also too. Defensively is Embiid injured? Wait a second. Has he been injured, injured this whole time? No, no. Okay, okay. He played. Wait. He played 7 minutes of game 1 and hasn't played since. Wow. Wow. That's actually sad that we're down right now then. Can I see their line? And it says he's out for 2 to 4 weeks. We, we dodged a bullet. Kelly Oubre still dropped 30 in the last game, and we're still tied 2-2. Two two. Oh, yeah, I just realized my face cam's blocking it, but I just told you. There you go. Use your, use your hearing. Or, sorry, I don't know. Or them closed captions. 120-66. We win this one, and it should be a series, right? They won the next game by one. I just... Yo, Maxi has been going nuts. Did they up his shot tendency? Or, you know what? Either way, he's just stepping up to the occasion. He's still got an 80. Game 7 in Philly no Embiid. this would be terrible 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 no lock in it is 198 with 114 to go mo bamba is at the line i just got a sneak peek of there you go mo bamba you know what actually too i didn't do this in the uh is caruso in the game hold on real quick not they got Obi Toppin at the two. Hold on. I'm going to just hope Caruso comes back in because I have a I have a defensive sub to make. Put this man Caruso on Tyrese Maxey. I know I haven't done it all series. I didn't think we go to seven after what I've seen, though. And then the rest is fine. I mean, as long as Tobias is guarded by Pascal. Okay, I, I think the starters. Yeah, there you go. Caruso's back in. And Mo Bamba misses the second one. Matherin back up the other way. Up to Tyrese. Crossover. Back left. Back right. Tyrese getting kind of nowhere. Back out to Matherin. Matherin over to Siak. 
Siakam, Siakam, come on. Number one scorer now. Matherin will get the screen from Pascal, and he's got room from three. Benedict for three. That is good to make it a four-point game. We needed that. I, that dude, ever since he said that he was better than LeBron last season, I knew he was one of them. Maxi will go left around the screen to the basket. Pump fake back out wide open. Mo Bamba will hit the three. 33 seconds ago, Tyrese dribbling back up the other way. He'll do his little dribble moves. You know, I saw that for season three of my career. My friends were telling me that they added Tyrese's animations and nothing else. God, they ran out of stuff. Pass out Caruso, five seconds. Caruso has some room going to the basket. He'll give it down to Turner. Turner's got to go up, and he barely gets it off, but gets the rebound. Caruso will get fouled. What a rebound. That was a terrible off, and Caruso's going to miss the first free throw. Caruso, the second one, he'll hit that one at least, and we are up by two with 11 seconds to go. This is... I would have liked that, that both of them, you know. I would have liked the shot made, too. I don't know. Anything. Pass into Maxi. Maxi's got nine seconds, guarded by Caruso. Maxi running the ISO. He'll, he'll drive right and pull the three, and that is off oh my i'm be honest i think i said it earlier in the year i've actually been trying to make it so that i've been trying to do stuff on my own accord on just in, in for fun maybe maybe in, in video format but to make my own gameplay feel more like the cpu gameplay you know less relying on all that garbage stuff like the shot timing variability yada yada because their gameplay is actually really good this year it's, it's the best i've seen I, I this is entirely default but i guess it's online versus i don't know i i, I just got on here but it ends up in incredibly volatile 23 6 and 11 from tyrese siakam just had 14 and 10 with five turnovers but he had three blocks so i'll give him that i don't know we won screw it we made it out see ya and bead a seven seven versus two seed upset now we're playing the three the three seed cavaliers who did not lose a game against miami and miami ain't a bad 2k team dude in that next video i was doing recently they were going deep into the playoffs game one is gonna be a loss by 20 some game two is gonna be a loss by ot game three is gonna be a another loss by seven uh, who just dropped 48 that's actually tyrese and game four is gonna be a sweep by nine i i'm be honest i i know i know <laughs> i know how this game works actually it's it's good that i opted to rebuild this team because it's gonna be tough to uh yeah playoff wise i'm be honest it still looks like we might need another option this team isn't gonna be as good look their shot tendencies are good and everything this team isn't gonna be in as good in game also it looks like miles turner is pissed he actually stat wise is pretty good for us but i can get another person if need be and you know what defensively so wait, actually you know what yeah yeah check the team stat what was our defensive rating in the playoffs we were one of the best that's good now offensive rating we weren't good so that's an, an entirely we were good but no actually we weren't for the playoffs we were we were a bottom four so we actually need a focus on offense crazily enough still even with siakam here he's not changing too much as yet luca averaged 52 in the western conference finals hold on can i see this he dropped 53 58 57 59 i was trying to see if he, he's dropped 50 like 40 000 times i hope he has a good playoff run this year i don't know though i don't know if i could put trust in that team in the Cavs, we lost to the champions and they they only lost one game and it was to Boston. I don't know why this team is so good in this game. It, it pisses me. I mean, I, I actually do know because they look great on paper, but they haven't been. Hey, hey, my team beat him in real life. So I can I could talk. I could talk for now. JaVale McGee retired. Drive lottery. Don't have picks, nor would would we have had picks because we are not in the lottery. Oh, there you go. Raptors got number one. Hopefully when I pro properly rebuild them, they do the same. Let's just uh, simulate to the draft. Screw it. I was thinking about firing Rick Carlisle, but eh, there's really no point. I do have to re so this would be an interesting time because technically couldn't i i could have a lot of money but there also is i could i don't know who's really even in free agency and it's funny because you'd think i would because i do this so much but neesmith might be be a guy that i don't know if he i don't know he had some good games here i, I rock with him but also i think it's really funny they gave bruce bond all that money and just flipped him for a contract that was of similar value that was honestly a really pro move from the indiana front office i don't know if that was fully intentional but i guess i, I don't know their season could have went entirely differently i don't think people expect them to be as good as they are this year all right so remember what i said about tj mcconnell yeah i lied i'm trading tj mcconnell in a future first round pick for caleb houston and the 13th pick this year i wanted to get a pick in because it's usually pretty important to have young players in these videos i'm just going to simulate straight to the offer uh, or to the pick not the offers but alexander sar we can get this dude for the 13th pick he was he was only drafted ninth i actually wouldn't feel that bad to do that i might i gotta see who's available first but he's he's supposed to be ranked like top 10 and he'd be a really good oh my god to 
salon. If you know, you know. Bronny is still available, but Bronny doesn't fit this team. At what's, I'm going to do that trade. I, I don't even feel that bad since he was drafted ninth. Bring bring that back up real quick. Yeah, Alexander Saar throwing a second pick. Welcome to the team. Tajon Salon goes to the Bulls. And then second round pick. Oh, 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 it's the Raptors. Oh, damn. I forgot I still have control. But it doesn't let me make the picks because it's all on automatic. But I, I'll take it. That's good. He'll be a 78 overall off rip. Should have probably went higher in the draft, we're being honest. But sign this dude, Jalen Bridges, as well. Why not? Jalen Smith declines his contract, and we're going to keep Ben Matherin. Obi Toppin. I'm going to offer him the qualifying offer, and I might even re sign him. But oh, Paul George is a free agent. Oh, but he's going to fall off bad, though. Okay, well, first and foremost, Siakam has to be re signed. He's getting a big body off from the Nets and the Pistons. That's funny because the Pistons were actually rumored to have maybe been in the talks at some point because yeah they're really i don't know they're just trying to do something they're gonna have to give siakam a bag okay we're at number one now five years 171 million i gave him just a little bit shy of 30 a year and aside from that i'm gonna make sure he gets signed first before i try to do anything else too crazy plus most of these dudes will still be available ob still restricted so that's good since i traded mcconnell the only person out here even that really has any value is tyus jones so i'm gonna just offer him i had to get past the moratorium period so that pascal officially signed i didn't want to try signing anybody else and messing up our deal with him and going through some bs again so pius is gonna sign here and then after that yeah our next most affordable person is kemba walker so we're kind of in hell i'm gonna go ahead and uh, obi's about to obi's trying to sign a deal elsewhere we could try re-signing him oh and i might have lost jalen smith yeah he's gone sorry there goes jalen well i actually was planning on getting someone like jerace walker or andrew nemhard into the rotate actually you know what else we got alexander Saar now yeah, so I might actually try getting rid of Miles Turner sooner than later and letting Alexander Saar start at center. We'll take Obi Toppin back on a four-year deal, which he he's another person that I'm probably going to try and trade him, be honest. As of right now, though, coming out of the offseason, let me see. Oh, yeah, Javon Carter going to be gone soon, too. I'm actually just going to trade because Javon's 28 and he probably has a he's probably going to regress soon. I'm going to try and just trade him right now for like nothing. Yeah, Pistons future first. Don't mind if I do. Tyrese goes up to a 95 and Alex Caruso goes down by four. Oh man man oh man okay yeah that is that is our starter andrew nemhard broken right ankle for the season do they mean the uh the summer league season why oh my that's our other shooting guard sometimes when injuries like that happen it'll be like you know uh cut on the head out for the season he's out for the real season oh my yo i don't know who this dude isaiah wong is it said i needed to make two roster spots i don't even know why you're here so yeah two first from okc doesn't matter to me yeah i think we actually just lost him for the season no it says two to four weeks thank god okay okay that's good that them few months in the off season saved saved us okay we are making a team changing deal to start the season so when i put miles turner ob Toppin, and alex caruso in the trade finder they genuinely gave me the trade offer to throw an hour 2025 first round pick plus those three players and get claxton and mikhail bridges now instead of taking that because that sounded insane to me i'm like you know what i'm just gonna throw in more, more first round picks and make it even because you know claxton is already the same as miles turner overall wise and then mikhail bridges for Obi top and Alex Caruso and one first it felt you know like a bit of a ripoff so once I added my three first and I was like well now I feel like maybe I'm getting ripped off so I added in Cam Thomas they're like no so I added in Aaron Neesmith they're like yeah just give us this Miami pick and there you go we are gonna get Nicholas Claxton Mikhail Bridges and Cam Thomas for three first round picks Aaron Neesmith Obi Toppin and Miles Turner thank you Brooklyn we got our scoring we are about to have the most run and gun chuck the ball I don't need to update Cam Thomas what's it called but I am gonna make Mikhail shoot a little bit more he He's now our new, you know what I'm saying, Siakam. I actually was just reading an article about the trade and it was talking about how, you know, everyone compares Tyrese to like the Steve Nash of the 2020s in terms of that running gun Suns offense and everything. And now he's got this and that Siakam's kind of like his Sean Marion. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll have our Joe Johnson, even though Joe Johnson left, but you know, we'll have our Joe Johnson here and Mikhail Bridges, which that's a, that's a bit of a stretch in terms of scoring for him. But you know, Joe Johnson was a hooper and I might just keep Nick Claxton, even though I wanted to start Alexander Saar. Can I see like what he's got good shooting? got pretty solid defense he's just solid i, I think we, we try it out for a year with this team and then reevaluate post this year do i just keep caruso at this point he's still got defensive badges yeah this might be the last year to keep caruso because he's still got an 81 three-pointer 
88 defense. He has all the essential stuff you need out of a defensive lockdown type of guy. And then now I have Mikhail as well. So, you know, there's also that. But I'll probably just try and trade Caruso during the... Oh, also, yeah, his spot's going to get taken by Andrew Nemhard when he comes back. So screw it. Whatever. Jerace Walker, I wanted you to play this year, but I guess you're not good enough yet. So it is what it is. I'll also just keep the depth for the sake of injuries just in case those happen. But we should be a dominant force. You know, like, it's weird, though, because also is Cam, Th Cam Thomas come off the bench, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah. Oh, are they about to start him? No, they just gave him a lot more minutes. This is a dynasty type of team. It really, you know, ting tingles your, your stomach senses. What? Wait, butterflies in your stomach? I don't know. It, God help me. We're nine and three. That's all that matters, right? They finally programmed Jalen Brunson right. This man is averaging 34 a game in 24 games this season. That's what I'm talking about. And we are 21 and six right now. Best in the conference. I'm going to make the correct roster move real quick and move Alex Carew. I mean, if someone gets injured, he's still a good, he's still a good one. What's it called? You know, yeah, I, I'm actually. Oh, but he has one year left. I'd rather get some value out of him now. You know, we still got Caleb Houston. Shoot, I don't know. Ben Shepard. I don't know who the hell this guy is. Oscar. O, 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 Oscar. O, Oscar. I think of Oscar Schmidt. Hey, Terrence Mann in the first from the Clippers. I'll take it. Screw it. And also, yes, I know oh, Terrence Mann. He's untouchable. Well, guess what? He's a 72 overall. He, he ain't worth nothing in this game. Man, Steve Ballmer will be out of his mind to continue enforcing that in this game, at least. So I just saw this post on Twitter and it says Detroit Pistons subreddit de delivers another gem, which is just start punching people. We are four and 36 and on pace to become the worst team in NBA history. At this point, think about it. If the worst player on our team, I would say Wiseman, just started punching and beating the hell out of other teams, best player of let's say a couple seconds then what's the worst that can happen wiseman gets tossed he's the worst player on the team so it wouldn't really matter and their best player gets hurt just imagine wiseman going complete on luca before the teammates and referees get involved it'll be complete uh, at least three whole seconds which is a lot of time to break someone's leg or arm if they're trying really hard just something to think about as we approach the second half of the season i love how he like formats it like a press release or, or like how a gm would talk just something to think about as we you know approach the second half trade deadline day we are 37 and 14 crazy enough the knicks are actually number two and aside from yeah we'll re-sign mikhail bridges i ain't doing a damn thing how's nemhar playing in his first year with minutes three four points shooting well he's good enough yeah we'll, we'll give him a deal funny because i know he's definitely like started games in his in this season in real life honestly i'm just trying to keep the squad together and run it up for a few years nothing too much more complicated than that yeah let the bench play a lot don't let anybody get injured we're running away with this so far crazy win streak right now ended at 11 damn all right end of the season Jokic wins mvp ron holland malik monk amen thompson wins mip kyrie clutch player yada yada tyrese makes the third team not the second team or higher this year but nonetheless good season alexander Saar, all rookie second team in his first year he i never checked his stats once but he averaged nine and five on only 30 percent from three but solid from the field the first seed 64 wins is 13 games better than anybody else real quick actually okay well we're playing we why does it keep on being that we keep playing the Celtics in these videos as the eighth seed this season? Tyrese averaged 22 and 11. Cam Thomas started one game, one singular game when Mikhail got injured. 19, no, nothing else for him, but he's, he's had second leading score in just 26 minutes. Mikhail then right after him and Siakam and Matherin. So obviously the starting lineup tends to, you know, divvy up more. And then once it gets to the bench, just give Cam Thomas the ball and move out the way, basically is how it's going. I'm actually surprised he didn't win six man of the year, right? That's interesting. They didn't give out play of the month yet because april isn't over but it's the playoffs usually they give it out before like it doesn't count the playoffs so i don't know it's just something i noticed anyways oh malik monk guy six man and eh, he probably played well maybe he had more like other stats whatever who cares first round we lose game one win game two lose game three yeah this is gonna be tough it's the celtics dog like why are you the eighth seed we win this game though it's gonna be two two but that don't you know that don't give us nothing no reassurance just yet still two two okay won another one good all-around effort great all-around effort actually and of course, I try to simulate game. We lose the next one by 30. Game seven, Tyrese sore left hand. Relax, be okay. Don't do all that. They're actually going to up his minutes instead of lower them. He's just slightly hurt. He's still a 95, so we should be fine. Just one game, sore hand. Just pass the ball a little bit more. You know, use the left. I don't know. Which hand is it? No clue. And we are smoking them. 130, 140 to 100. Benedict Mathurin, career high, 35 points, it says. And Tyrese had 24 and 16. 
16. Still shot the ball a lot. Mikhail, 4 for 13. Don't matter. We won. And they look to have been pretty healthy. Porzingis might be injured unless they traded him. No, Porzingis tore, tore elbow ligament. And yeah, he had actually... Did he do the exact same thing Embiid did? He got injured in game one in 10 minutes. Yep. So we played most of the, most of that series even without Porzingis. So I don't know how legit we are yet. I'll be honest. Tyrese obviously healed. That shouldn't be too, you know, surprising. Mostly everybody outside of him is playing pretty equal minutes. And I guess I'm okay with that. Do I still want Nemhard playing come playoff time? I don't know. He's playing pretty mediocre so far. So I'm going to cut his minutes for now. Just make it a nine, man. Give everybody pretty decent time. Same old Hawks, that they, except they have Miles Bridges and they got rid of Capella, or it looks like it at least. He might still be on the bench. Or up 3-0. I mean, hey, we barely lost this season, but Boston might be our toughest. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we made it out. We made it out. And conference, a rematch against Cleveland. They they run all the way to the conference finals. Insane team as usual. Um, actually going to look at just you know what's crazy our bench is actually really good so i don't even know if i want i might take some of sars minutes away for this high jones should be pretty efficient i'm still gonna take some they're playing the hell out of cam thomas he has been very efficient though so yeah i'm actually just gonna lower the benches minutes a little bit or a few more to siakam how he's playing he's playing great bridges is playing fantastic i mean hey you gotta play good for us to get this far i'm just gonna load up their minute give a few to claxon as well and there you go matherin you've been really good as well i'm gonna take a few from cam and give them to matherin game one in indiana Four Four point win for the Pacers. We're down by six with just under a minute left. This game is probably over. Yeah, it's over. Cam Thomas had 42 and 40 minutes played. That's because Matherin fouled out with six fouls and Mikhail got hurt. Okay, okay. It's a sprained foot day to day, but he is going to have to sit though. All right, Cam Thomas, your time to shine, man. I'm going to still keep the rotation short. We're going to go eight man rotation. Oh, wait, day to day. Hold on. Is he already back? Okay, that's fine. We, we could bench him for one game. All right, next game. And that's the only thing though. Cam Thomas is guarding Donovan Mitchell. So uh, that's a bit hellish. We lose our defensive end of the ball and it does doesn't look like it's gonna work. Yep, we get smoked. Now Mikhail's gonna be back. Cam shot seven for 15, but he was negative 36, the worst on the team. Whereas Donovan had 36, nine and 10, a whole triple double. Obviously, oh, Pascal's got a sore ankle. Okay, no more of my rotation and judgment adjustments. Just let it let it be. I'm I'm injuring these bastards. Okay, Mikhail's back now. They're still benching him. I'm gonna disagree with that. We're gonna just we're gonna leave the minutes. But we're gonna switch them because I can't have him guarding Donovan. Have a and that looked to have worked well. We win. That that game mitchell shot eight for 22 mikhail had 19 cam thomas three for 10 we lose the next one by 14 thankfully everybody's healthy now but this is do or die so might as well just gotta lock in they got claxon coming off the bench for sar that's that's stupid we might give the starting spot to sar next year but i just don't think it'd be a smart idea to switch things this deep into the playoffs. all right we gave our guys a ton of minutes game six in cleveland not too far away from Indiana. And we are getting smoked. Yep, that is going to be it. We get smoked. Cam Thomas fouled out in 28 minutes. Aside from that, everybody played the full game. But uh, Tyrese, 8 for 22. Mikhail, 5 for 16. Just a just a bad look. And we're going to lose to Cleveland even after our adjustments. And they're going to win the championship again. Where's OKC at? OKC got smoked in the first round by Luka. Damn. Oh, it was funny. I think I created some havoc on Twitter the other day. I was just up watching Jalen Williams highlights. And I thought he played a lot like Paul. Pierce and it made me happy. So I uh made a compilation of them and just posted it on Twitter. And then people were like, No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he actually does. No, he does. Yeah, he does. yeah. And I'm like, shoot, I don't know. I just saw it personally. Pablo Prigioni retired. We're gonna give Rick Carlisle at just one more year. If he don't, if we lose again, yet again. And also, I think I'm gonna trade Claxton. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I mean, I might keep him in bet, but I, I really do wanna have Alexander Sar playing. Cam Thomas is a free agent. I'm not gonna lie though, I think I'm just gonna move Claxton to the bench because or whatever i don't want to make this deal right now it feels like the team is already as good as it's going to get unless we get some sort of insane superstar tr or rebuild again which won't happen so also we have the 29th pick from ourselves that's uh shout out to vince williams this dude's pretty good seen him in real life a little bit playing caleb houston hasn't got better since we got him i'm gonna trade him in the 29th pick for pick 19 and pick 30 i guess i just wanted to move up a little bit that works i'm gonna draft ding patel here with pick 19 and screw it yeah lee and McNeely with the next one. They were what? 75 and 74. See, that's pretty good. They're both better than Caleb Houston was. Free agency. Now, obviously, we don't have money to sign many people, but I'm going to get Cam back. Now, I might try and exhaust my options, though. Can I see the stats for us this past season real quick? I mean, we were the best team in the league. We were sixth in offensive rating, number one in defensive rating. I was going to say, I feel like we didn't take a lot of threes, though, because we don't have a lot of three-point shooters outside of a few people. Like, Isaiah Jackson doesn't shoot threes. Sar's not good at them. Claxton doesn't shoot them. So, 
maybe maybe more three-point shooters okay you know what though we didn't take a lot but we actually made league the, the the median we were the middle what is it that the Cavs do better than us that's what I'm trying to really figure out we're number one in assists it might just be a case of just thugging it out and hoping we do better next year honestly they got Dante Exum at small forward now just put there that's funny sadly they both got worse the two guys that I signed for this purpose but I realized that the one thing that we lack in is tall wings who can shoot you, you think about it and well actually I don't know why I still have Matherin at the three and Mikhail at the two that's one thing I have to change ASAP I guess it was better for guarding Donovan Mitchell anyways but Pascal obviously is a good enough shooter and, and tall and everything but I signed Dorian Finney Smith maybe he could play some three this season because I realized that yeah we, our, our guys just tend to be a little bit shorter than like the six eight six nine range it also doesn't matter in 2k which I, i'm just making I'm just making an issue out of for another i i don't know we, we just lost said i have to cut somebody so i'm actually just gonna trade bogdanovich immediately because i yeah I, he he fell off bad the second i signed him you know actually i'm gonna leave matherin at the three just because of that funny small forward small forward thing he has also because he goes down by two when i try and change him matter of fact though how did matherin he 13 points yeah because if you really think about it i might just need to tell him to shoot more because when you think about it cam thomas is just doing his job but better also alexander Saar is now an 81 he went up i want to say three this season we're just gonna see if we're like otherworldly good i'm not making no moves no nothing but if we're in limbo Bo, I might I might shake things up a little, but it doesn't look to be that way. We, we've lost one game. I, I'm looking up my as starter stats, like player stats as a starter, and they show me Ben Shepard's G League stats. I don't give a damn, but I actually did want to see this because they've been starting Saar a lot this season, and they did bench Pascal for a second for Jerace Walker. I have no clue why. He might have got injured a little bit, but both of them played very well in their spot minutes. Alexander Saar is our second most valuable player, which tends to happen with these rookie guys. Claxton's still good, though. So I'll probably just keep him and let Sar continue starting. Tyrese Halliburton, most valuable player, 26 and 12 this season. His numbers actually all went up. He's a 96, same overall damn near as he was last year. But hey, I'll take it. 62 and 20 from Rick Carlisle. I think we we're around the same last year. Maybe one or two more wins. Was MVP after being on the third team last year? I honestly did not expect that. We're the first seed again by uh, only four games ahead of the Cavs this season. They're back in business. Maybe they had some injury. What the hell? Is, speaking of injury. Are we injured? Because we're just losing. Okay, well, real quick. Let's let's finalize this adjustment. Claxon to the bench. Saar to the starting five. Jones, lose some of your minutes too. We'll all do it. You know what? Screw it. We're, 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 we're prioritizing Saar. Because you're telling me you got the estimated wins. I got I gotta I gotta trust the stats. That's all this is. It's just stats simulating in an odd fashion. We are getting smoked by the Hornets. LaMelo ball, 33 points. Shoot, only last thing I could think of doing is putting Mikhail on him directly, but Tyree should still be in 2K at a 90. 96 you should be a good defender right yeah 81 defense like that's not you know it's not locking up elite level but damn but then they have brandon miller too so it's like he's averaging 18 the mellow is better but we are down 3-0 in the first nobody's injured not a soul is injured mvp getting smoked this is the we believe hornets we win by five in the in the game four back against the wall and guess what the back is going to stay against the wall how bad is isaiah jackson injured uh oh yeah play your race walker screw it and we are gonna lose we lost in the first round okay it's time to make a change, a big change. We're talking, you lose in the first round, you're not seeing the same roster again. Tyrese didn't play the greatest. Cam Thomas shot less than 40% from the field. How'd he play this season? 17 on 50, 40, almost, or 80 something. Tyus Jones shot 30, set. yeah. Regardless, something needs to change. The, oh wow, the Raptors got pretty far, damn. Raptors got to the second round, look at that. RJ Barrett, uh, guard dial, Scotty Barnes, they lost though. Donovan Mitchell, another championship for the Cavs. And why is it? Because they got dogs. They just have dogs. I don't know. Draft lottery. Did we finesse any picks up here? Pacers via LAC. Oh, yeah. I forget what I traded that one for, but we got pick three. Perfect. Why? Because honestly, I might put it on the trade block. Um, You know what? Oh, also, hey, Coach Carlisle, kick rocks, buddy. Sorry. Mike Malone down here. Hey, man. Send Mike Malone an offer. Tentative. He's going to decline. I know how this game goes. Throw Jacob onto with an offer. Any former players that would be funny to Chauncey? Ah, no, no, not you. Yeah, we got Jacob Underwood. Screw it. An assistant head coach. This dude wants to run the triangle. Hell no. Do not sign him. What about you? Got this guy. All right, cool. All right, NBA draft. That's what I want to do. I want to go to our pick and see who gets drafted. Darren Peterson and Cameron Boozer. That's who I wanted. But you know what, though? AJ DeBonsta is still available, and he's always, he's a beat 
overall he would be an impact player year one so i'm gonna keep that available now i can't trade pascal they got buddy today i can't do it so we're gonna get rid of this is a thing we can get someone way more valuable than claxton at an 86 overall sar is gonna go up to that this season matherin's a restricted free agent do i even look at trading mikhail at this point because we might just have to you know what i'm saying say hey i appreciate it we kind of and this could be the one <laughs> Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. 90 overall, Jalen Brunson. Bring it. No, I don't. I feel grimy, but I would feel grimy, but getting both. That just sounds funny as hell. You know what? I think uh, I'm going to get out of this draft because I don't want any more picks. So I might just select with this pick that we have. Do we have any other picks that I missed? Uh, second round, round four. That's fine. But I might just try and make a trade right post draft because I want to see who's like untouchable players or whatever. Who can I trade for? Damn, Victor's in. Injured. I mean, I wouldn't be able to trade from anyway. There isn't many better players to get. Do I, do I make an Embiid push? I don't know. You know what? And you know what's funny too is I just saw a trade that tempted that. But I'm starting to... I know the Nets thing was already bordering on probably just fully unrealistic. But screw it. We were losing anyways. But I, I can't do this. Jalen Brunson for just Klax and Isaiah Jackson. This is just stupid. I'm going to feel grimy, dusty, musty, all of the above. And I think I'm just going to keep the team the same. Damn. But I can't... No, I got to trade Claxton. I, I, I got to trade somebody it's politics at this point hey we get sangoon you know what screw it. we're trading this decent young player liam mcneely too he'll probably never played for us though give me out prince sangoon if that's all they want you know what oh it's not realistic all right bet i'm gonna just throw in this first round pick too there you go oh now now they don't want that okay fine all right well they gave me one anyways i don't know i don't know we got him and then i'm also gonna select aj debonsta with this pick and then with this second round pick oh that's the raptors okay i don't i thought i still had a second round pick oh did i add it into that trade maybe it is what it is watch we still have and they didn't let me okay no i traded it all right well he's an 80 overall off rip ben shepherd you can kick rocks buddy you're never gonna play for us anyways matherin is a free agent i might as well just well you know what actually i'm gonna give it a second is there any other players that i could sign that would be interesting hello jalen smith rotation wise i mean we're, we're the same the is is a small forward so that's good he's immediately gonna be so I, that was actually the one thing i was maybe gonna address but if we don't need anything there then yeah no we're good screw it we're in a weird time we're just gonna load up get a more tyro rozier welcome to the team ben matherin and prepared to get an off from the kings we'll just match that and then we're good right yeah cool at this point it's forget roster construction it's only gotten us so far which is losing and you know what i'm sorry to do it matherin but yep moving matherin to the two mikhail to the three this season that's the only real change damn sar is still in 81 even after he was playing all the minutes okay well maybe it's good that i i got a center back then uh we're gonna we're gonna make an 11 man rotation for the season so nobody gets too injured grit and grind that's not good for us i don't think go balance this should be the year I think maybe the only weakness was that there was sometimes in scoring that we weren't the best, even though we were. I don't know. This might, Sengu might be the last piece that'll put us over in terms of outscoring a team like the Cavaliers, or I guess in this case, the Hornets, because they want out, they want to cook us too. Oh my God. I'm actually going to go all the way to 12 man rotation because Isaiah Jackson's down here too. So why not? We just have a full rotation of too many. Oh wow. Tyus Jones still want to get injured. The uh, two players, the first game. Jerace Walker now. Okay, fine. You know what? Screw it. No, no more long rotation because you guys are all going to get injured anyways. I can't even run the 12-man rotation because our players are too injured. Screw all of you. Did we just score 83 points in the game? Matherin, you're getting on my last nerve, man. Philadelphia, thank you for the business. We have just traded Benedict Matherin, Terry Rozier, Andrew Nemhard, dude named Ding Battelle who was at the bottom of the bench. And also if I go over to Philly over here, a very valuable Clippers first-round pick. Funnily enough, they have the one next year too, but this one was rated three stars, which I threw in the trade. And I think one of our picks as well well and Tyrese Maxey welcome to Indiana a true legitimate threat of a score which is the thing that we've been lacking against when we play teams like you know um the Cavaliers or whatever forget the Hornets I'm, I'm sick of them now so now we have Halliburton I just seeing so many 80s and not enough a good top tier players on this team was pissing me off so now we have Maxey Bridges Siakam Sangoon Cam Thomas Saar DeBonsta and Jackson and then Jerace Walker will be back as well we have a lot of similarly positioned position player i don't even oh yeah tyus jones is injured too so there's that we're gonna lower it to like a 10-man rotation at this point and uh yeah that's that's the we're eight and seven right now i wasn't after what i saw against washington i wasn't going no further without a move i don't know if i've ever acquired maxi consistently but the sixers 
Embiid's like 32. Y'all got to move him too. I didn't want him though, because we don't need him. We need to sign somebody. Screw it. Maxi's probably cool with Paul Reed. Tyrese, all NBA third team this year. And we ended up best in the conference in just 53 wins. Crazily enough, the Nets, you know what? Forget unrealistic. Oh, they signed Jason Tatum because of the trades we made. And Murray. That's funny because I just saw some today with Murray getting traded to the Nets. And they were like the first mid super team or role player super team would be Murray and Mikael Bridges. Uh, but anyways, Chicago, it's literally Lonzo Ball and Dylan Harper I, and Tajon Salon. I swear if we lose any, Kaya Jones tore hand ligament for the season. There goes our, oh, Tyrese Maxey out for the season. Oh, oh, Pascal out for the, yeah, this is good. This is great. That's good. That's, that's, forget the Raptors. I don't give a damn about the Raptors right now. Tyrese is fully healed. Pascal's fully healed. Oh, Ty, other Tyrese is injured now. We're playing Philly, who we just traded with. They got James Harden back. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. They got 77 overall James Harden. All right. And now Jerace Walker's in. What is good with this team? The Wizards have Stefan Cassell, Johnny Davis, Danny Kuzma. It's just them now, basically. How are they in the conference finals? Is someone hurt on their team? Because how the hell are they? What? Get the hell out of here. I swear if we lose, I will end the video. I will end the video. Why did they make it this far? I mean, they... Uh, Alexander Saar, broken foot out for the season. We lost the game. We got there anyways, but okay. We're we're in hell right now, injury-wise. Tyus Jones is out. We got Jalen Noel playing. We got Paul. Man, forget these two scrubs. Put an eight-man rotation. If we get it, if we die, if they die, they die. I don't care. We're playing the Trailblazers. We actually, there was really nobody to duck the smoke of in the West. There hasn't been a consistent person making it. They have Aiden still, Shaden Sharp, and Scoot. It's just them. And Chris Murray starting. Game one. Did someone get hurt? Because why are we losing? like this. Jerace Walker doesn't even play. We got smoked game one by 23 points. Tyrese shot five for 17. Maybe that's why. There's really no matchups to switch. I mean, actually, I might have to put McHale on, on Scooter Shaden, but aside from that, we win game two. For a second, I thought Clyde Drexler was Rodney Hood. You know what really threw me off? That he has hair. Okay, we were getting cooked, but we came back in a 36 to 23 third quarter, and they just went on a crazy run in the fourth. Oh, wait, we're still kind of holding on. And we, we lose lose. We, Sharp, had, I put Mikhail on Sharp and he had 40. We're about to lose again. Another late comeback into too little too late comeback. Scoot had third. We just don't have dog. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. We just don't have it. We we don't. Four for 12 from DeBonsta. Four for 15 from Mikhail. Six for. Proves me right now. Come back from a 3-1 and proves me that you guys have dog because they don't have it. They don't have it. Because I'm seeing Scoot drop 35. With, all right. Well, someone on our team dropped 35. One of the 40 scores I traded for. Thank you. You. Thank you. A dominant win. Good God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyways, we are up by three with 150 something to go. Oh, there goes the lead. All right. 132 down by one. I don't know who the hell that is. is that one of the rookies in Garden of Tyrese right now? I don't know. Okay. Step back. Tyrese goes left. Tyrese step back. Tyrese goes left. Tyrese tween. Step back again. These disgusting animations. Sangoon, he's just standing there. He's dribbling out. Back out to DeBonsta. DeBonsta, seven seconds in the shot clock. They're letting him ISO. Four seconds. Step back. DeBonsta will pull the tough shot at the buzzer and brick. What the hell is this play, is this play called? Jacob Underwood. Collier's got it. That's who that is. Okay. He'll get the screen from, I think that's Shabari Walker. He pulls up for three and that is off. That looked hideous. Pull up uh, past Tyrese. Tyrese goes tween to the basket. Oh, he does a no look pass out to Cam Thomas who bricks the living hell out of the shot. Sharps got it. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Now Collier's got it guarded by Halliburton. He'll get this. They're going to score. They're going to score pass down and Aiden oh he missed it the rebound by Sangoon up to Thomas Cam Thomas doing a little push out dribble pass over to DeBonsta oh, hands it over Siakam out to Halliburton Halliburton over to the corner DeBonsta for three and he misses it and we're about to lose the championship in in front of our face two brick threes from two scrubs down by three eight seconds Tyrese opening the if you don't hit it I don't know who would okay all right. Okay. Sure. Sure. Interesting. For sure. Get me the hell out of here. Get me out of here. We lost the championship. It's just lose, lose, and find a new way to lose. That's all this has been. Isaiah Collier wins finals. Wasn't he off the bench? Wasn't he off the bench? Man, is they their backup PG. Oh, I guess he started a lot of the games too. Whatever. I don't know. DJ McCollum retired for the Raptors. Having I don't know what the hell they're up to. We traded that Clippers pick. Watch it's a it's a, a heater now. Wait, hold on. Tenth and it stays there. Trade pick twenty two and pick twenty five. I mean, we made the finals. Cam Thomas. I guess all that stuff they were saying about you being 
being a shot chucker and losing was right, man. I'm sorry. You're not. You're done. After what I just seen, that one shot he missed. I know DeBonsta missed too. Shoot, I, I would. I'm pressed to trade him too, but he's young, so he'll get better at least. Uh, we got the fourth pick in the draft now. I don't give a damn really who it is, but we'll take Tyrant Stokes. Why not? I don't know. I honestly, I should have just traded the pick. Man, Jerace Walker wants all this money and he's never even played. Barely, at least. Screw it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I can't sign anybody else anyways. At the deadline, we're 42 and 9. Stat wise, Tyrese Halliburton still hitting us in scoring. Him, Sengun, DeBonsta. Thankfully, I didn't trade him. Sar and Maxi all contributing a lot. Then you got Bridges, Walker, Siakam all the way down here now. But you know, I, I can't trade him. I got to keep him. Tyus Jones, though. Is he just not playing a lot? Because that'd be okay. I mean, he's playing a decent amount, but whatever. He's our backup PG, so he's got to be around, I guess. Oh, yeah. Let's trade him for 74 overall James Harden. That's good. Wait, how much is Harden making at this point? I want to actually see. Six million. Yeah, it seems fair. Tyrese wins MVP again. AJ DeBonsta wins MIP. He didn't even start. He's an 86 and didn't even start. And Tyrese is out for four to six weeks. I'll be honest, I have it on automatic right now because I get tired of seeing updates for a team that's pissing me off. And Tyrese is out for four to six weeks. Well, now we got Tyus Jones starting. I could put um, Maxi at the one, but we're playing the Knicks. They still got Brunson and Randall and Cooper flag. We swept them anyways. Second round, Halliburton's still out. We're playing the Raptors. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The two quote unquote user. Oh, smoked them. See ya. Okay, well maybe, you know what? I guess Tyrese Halliburton is the problem i guess he's the problem he just came back he has not played yet if we lose this first game against brooklyn he's the problem okay good oh we lost what did he do wrong three for 12 six turn next game we lose again you know what i don't give a damn if you're the mvp whatever the hell you are stop shooting the basketball tyrese get back to uh get back to passing man i'm sorry you're, you're not you're not that good i guess guess what next game we win game after that we win again six turnovers from him but he only shot seven times and made four alexander Sar was an absolute chuckster i think he just came back from injury and also DeBonsta is now injured and he's out for four to six weeks and we're going back to the finals again against the exact same team the Trailblazers we're gonna lose game one oh by three we were down by six when I said that game two smoked them game three they smoked us Jackson has a cut on the head oh shut the hell up he didn't play he didn't play we lose again Isaiah Jackson will go against the Blazers after a cut to head a hashtag return to glory shut the hell up shut up shut up anyways we're down three one again and and if we lose right now, I give up. I quit. Why? Screw it. Okay. I simulated it and we won by 30. I'm going to sim cast it and we're going to lose by 40. Just give me a game seven. Keep the video interesting for another 10 minutes. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, never mind, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe it's actually getting interesting. I think we just got like an N1 four point play or something. I don't know. Here we go. Game six, yet again, back against the wall. Tyrese guarding Collier. Collier goes left, tween the legs, step back right by the basket. He bricks it. And of course, Aiden bodies Sangoon for the four point lead that's good that's great actually alexander sars at the four tyrese maxi will go to the basket step back pump fake the layup pat just pass just pass siakam's got it siakam on simons he'll hit a behind the back go to the post go right pull up close shot it's off rebound by sar sar will dunk it down over chris murray we're still down by two aiden pass the ball in the collier he'll get fouled oh we still need another one tyrese do not foul again you idiot you have five you have five you have five he's gonna foul again he's going to foul again he's gonna foul again he fouled again he fouled again yeah it's over he fouled out okay well we're going back the other way down by at least three one more free throw and he misses the second one rebound timeout and of course it's with tyrese halliburton on the bench at least we still have you know the other all-star led team maxi maxi come on the huge tray we made we, we sacrificed benedict matherin for you mikhail bridges is still in the game too passing to mikhail mikhail is injured back over there debonsa oh wide open tyrese maxi for three there we go finally someone hit it's a shot. They have no timeout. Sharp back up the other way. He's guarded by DeBonsta. Eight seconds to go. Shaden, the screen's off ball for Collier. Sharp, three seconds. Sharp will get the screen. He'll pull the three. And oh my God, way off. And of course, nobody scored for the first four minutes. And then they hit two threes. Actually, can I see this real quick? They hit two threes. Oh, and then he just got fouled in a three. The game is over. The game is over. The game is over. The game is over. You know what? I give up. They they could have control of the team. I don't want I don't want this anymore more um i i have resigned from my position call me bob myers call me bob myers i'm done I, i'm simulating for one more season and they have full control i don't give a damn they could trade tyrese halliburton for all matter of fact that might be my last dying wish trade this man tyrese halliburton i'm sorry i'm not gonna do it i want to do it i'm not going to let the free agency rock let everything rock i don't care what happens i don't care who is who 
isn't a free agent. Let's see. I guess this is me caring. Alexander Sarri re-signed him. I guess he eventually started getting better again. DeBonce is now the second best player on the team. What do we trade for him again? Uh, That scrub Cam Thomas? Sorry, Cam Thomas. I'm actually speechless right now. Sorry, I, I am doing contract re-signings, but I don't know why. It was just muscle memory. I was uh, this. I'm watching the Knicks game and this commercial came on. And these it's these two people saying they named their son after the greatest Nick of all time, Walt Frazier. That might be the first person named Walt in in a century, in a millennium. We traded Tyus Jones for some PG, and I didn't even know we had Isaiah Joe. We traded him for Dylan Mitchell a week so. Also, Mikhail ruptured his Achilles. That's good. Cooper Flag wins MVP. AJ Debonsta wins most. Didn't he win it last season? He's now won it twice okay Tyrese makes the second team the Bonsta makes the third team first round we're the first seed against Atlanta the Raptors lose we win okay and we're back to the finals again smoked Liam McNeely this is the dude I traded I traded him hold on he's an 85 we drafted him I traded him for Tyrese Maxey and he didn't even play over there in Philly I guess I don't know 85 overall from the 30th pick in the draft winning the what's it called I don't I don't know uh, is he starting even no he's not even a starter but they got claxton too what wait what did i trade him oh did i trade him i swear i traded him for maxi but no i think i traded him for sangoon that's what i did yeah because they have cla damn screw it first game i just simulated it we lost second game we win third game we lost by 11 fourth game we lose again and the fifth game all right the video's over it's been real it's been fun and it definitely ain't been real fun and i'll see you around in the world good